Our industry has a massive amount of data, but it's extremely unorganized. If I asked you to put together a list of a Hyatt place, every door handle or every door handle for a guest room, and I asked you to go ahead and do that, how long do you think it would take? I mean, you know, every, every door handle goodbye and the cost. Probably take somebody eight hours to put that list together. Think about that for a minute. We work in an industry in the middle of the information age, and it would probably take eight hours to put together a list of 100 door handles. So this is going to be our number one problem as we move into automation and AI, is, is our databases. So where, what do we need to do? We just need to start. My practical, start building databases in your company. You know, take all that information that's in your head, scattered on your notebooks, on your computer, set up a smart sheet or a Google Docs, create some headings, and start recording the data. You need to start creating a culture. If you already have the data, you're already doing this, start going to checklists. Checklists are fantastic uh, because they start changing the culture of your company to, to understand how to utilize the data, right? Uh, at base four, we have checklists for every project at 30, 60, 90 permit drawings, construction drawings. We have checklists for every hotel brand, for every different state, for every one of our clients. Checklists will get your company used to the idea of automation. Number 10, create SOPs, standard operating procedures. Sit down every morning for 15 or 20 minutes and write down what you do. Put that on a Google smart sheet, print it out, talk about it with your staff. Start making a standard operating procedure so they can understand what you do. Don't just say, we're going to walk together for 20 years, mentor, mentee, and they're going to by pick it up by osmosis. Start writing it down. Number 11, em embrace automation. When you jump into an AEC project, there's pieces everywhere, right? And your job, the people who win in our industry are people who take all those pieces and put them in a line into linear thinking. At base four, we used to have uh, two architects sit on a job and ride it all, all the way through uh, to the end, and they were expected to know all 10,000 things. So then we set up a production line. Every team starts a new job at team one, and you can see it on the board. And then they do eight hours, they do 100 tasks, the next day it goes to team two, next day to team three and four and five that work in parallel. And at the end of day 25, the project is complete. Four-story hotel, all the engineering, all the architects, 25 days to complete that. Uh, so what we have are the same people working on the same 100 tasks every single day. We don't expect them to know 10,000 tasks. And then uh, we talk about a programming. We take the next step. We basically take out of those 100 tasks, we figure out how do we write some code. Dynamo is the API, the back end of Revit. How do we write that? It's a kind of like a Python visual-based language. And we write the steps. So now out of the 100 steps, five or set 10 of them are automated. And the number one reason for this isn't necessarily efficiency, it's quality. Quality in our drawings. We've had some quality problems when we started a couple years ago, and so now we've, got it, we've gotten to this where we could actually knock out those quality problems and have the same quality every job.